Hello everybody, I'm Dylan DeRiso and welcome to this DAF Media Special as we preview the 2022-2023 winter sports season here in Darien and we'll start off with the hockey team. As always, expectations are high on the ice and boys head coach Mac Budd has a young, talented team that is hungry. The Wave made a run to the finals of the D1 state playoffs as the sixth seed last year but ultimately lost in a tight battle to Notre Dame West Haven. That loss will help fuel Darianne this season. I really like the senior class we have. It's a small group of guys, but I feel like we're close-knit. We all know each other, and I love having that, especially with how many younger players we have on this team. I think with strong senior leadership from all of us, we can really take the new kids under our wings and grow the team. With all the new young talent, we're just trying to kind of preach all of our kind of team mantras and everything that we believe in on the team, like grit, hard work, positivity. And we're just trying to make them buy in as quickly as possible so we can kind of start hot to the season. We have a lot of guys that we lost last year, but we have a lot, a lot of uh, young talent that's uh, really coming to the team this year. So I think we could really go far and, and push past where we went last year. The girls team, under the watchful eye of longtime head coach Jamie Tropsa, is certainly a contender for both the conference title and state championship as they were last year. It's early, but the captains like what they see so far. I'm very excited. I feel like we had a really good start going in the Jamboree. Like beating New Canaan and Greenwich definitely has us feeling like very confident as we continue into our first game tonight. I'm really excited to see what this season brings. We have a lot of chemistry so far and um, a lot of emotions going into some of these games, um, some rivalries, which um, we'll see what happens. I'm really excited about that. I think we're doing really well. We have a lot of players playing in new positions this year, but everyone's been very flexible, so that's been working out. So yeah, we have high hopes. We are trying some new things this year with different lines. Um, people are moving around to different positions, but I think it's all going to work really well um, just because of our team chemistry and everyone kind of knows where to be and when. For the first time in a long time, there is reason for optimism in the Blue Wave wrestling room. Head coach Greg Lewis has big numbers on the mat this year, which means Darian should be able to compete at all weight classes and field a competitive team in the FCAC. We've been growing like crazy over the past four years, and every single year we've been a little better, a little bit more experienced and skilled. And this year we have the numbers to produce a full varsity and JV team. So every meet we go to, we're going to be competitive. We're going to be going there to win. Pretty excited. I mean, Darian's got a lot of sports that are pretty competitive, and I think. It's good to know that wrestling is sort of coming up and more people are getting into it. It's something that we can be proud of as a community. Let's turn our attention to the hardwood. Here's Cam McGraw with more on the girls and boys varsity basketball teams. Thanks, Dylan. The FCX should be another one of the top conferences in the state this season. Head coach Roy Bentley returns as the boys basketball coach. The Wave qualified for the state tournament last season, but got shut out of the FCX playoffs. Darian hopes to change that this season. We got a pretty close team this year. Uh, a lot of guys returning from last year. Obviously, it ended in a way we didn't want it to. Um, but we have high expectations for this year. This year, we got a lot of experience coming back. Uh, a lot of young guys played last year. We got a bunch of underclassmen too that I think are going to step up for us big time this year. And we have a great senior class. So I think we have a solid year. But one thing that we're trying to do this year um, is emphasize our defense because the offense will develop over the season, over the the game. So we're trying to emphasize defense this year. Alyssa Valente is in her first season as the Wave head coach for this Darien girls basketball team. The Wave doesn't have a lot of depth, but it's a close-knit group with a lot of chemistry. I have done a lot of work through the preseason with um, Coach Liss. She's new this year, our new coach. So we've been doing a lot of work in the preseason to get ready. Um, and seeing the girls who are the most committed, those are the ones who um, will be working the hardest in practice and really stepping up. So we're looking forward to that. I think we're all really excited. I think last year we had a tough season, but I think we're, like, all, through the summer, we've all been working so hard, and I think we're excited to get it started a little bit more. And I think with Coach Les, we we're all really excited that she stepped up. Both teams play on February 10th. First, the girls, followed by the boys. Back to you, Dylan. Thanks, Cam. The Darien boys swim and dive team is hoping to make a splash in the pool again this season. Last season, the Wave finished second to only New Canaan at the Class L state meet. Darien has a number of young swimmers bolstered by a solid group of upperclassmen. I, I'm very excited. It's definitely going to be an interesting season. We have a big freshman class coming in, so I think it's going to change the dynamic. But I think we have a lot of potential to go fast at these meets. The team's super supportive and close-knit. Um, you know, we're always working together, trying to push each other to go faster. Um, and um, although it's individual, you know, at meets, we're all working for each other. Uh, we have relays where we need to 
all work as a team. Um, so yeah. I'm really excited for this team. I think we have a lot of potential to do well this year. Hopefully to do well in states and FCX and see how many people we can bring to states. The boys and girls indoor track teams are prepping outdoors, but the teams will compete at four indoor meets over the winter. Team records, personal bests, and titles are all in play, as always, for these student-athletes. Darianne has long had one of the most successful public high school boys and girls squash programs in the country. Both teams look to build on that tradition. This year is a little bit different, though, as the Chelsea Piers Athletic Club down the road in Stamford is the new home for the Wave. The Darien YMCA is once again home to the Blue Wave Gymnastics team. The Wave have a number of talented returning gymnasts from last season as they prepare for the upcoming competitive schedule. Coming into the season, I'm feeling pretty confident. We have a lot of new freshmen on the team, so it should be really good. Our team got really big this year, and I'm excited for our meets coming up. I think our first one's on January 5th, and it should be good. I'm really excited to start this new season. We have a lot of freshmen, and our goals for the season are to make FCX and hopefully states, so we're hoping to have a good season. The always competitive Darien ski team returns to Mount Southington for another season on the slopes, and the Darien varsity cheer team looks to be competitive this year in the FCAC. We hope you enjoyed this DAF Media special previewing the 2022-2023 winter sports season. I'm Dylan DeRiso. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.